Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. Hallelujah. Legro vedish to gilire hasso. Vlende gegibolo sublendile hasto. Jagla vrete vreti micro fetish tigibel haros. Sonte vrete blene corobosh telere vidisito. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Lo bredene clore kite stilere bosata. Ye malele vete bestelere vite son tolorobos. E corobolo roboto stalara vite sentelere vidisto. Je la remene mene sentolo roboto stelere vite set. Ze crade veri vite stelere vite sentolo roboto sto. Je le revede Jesus, we are grateful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Macro de veliki vili revede stele revodus. Ye malaraga da veli revede stele revos. Ye malarame de veli revede stele revede st. O ramo soto palarabi de sendele revede storobodus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Jehovah, we worship. Blessed be your name, O God. Rimakoto mekina galara bede bete shuti kapalara gada sante. Ivra doma krada miki malara bede shtelere bosata. Jesus will give you praise. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Macrone me gila rabo do bushta la rabo sat. Vano prete kebre tina prodo gala boro shalara sat. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. Praise God. Hello. Good morning. You're welcome to today's edition of Conform. Our online devotional in which we sit at the feet of Jesus so he will breed upon us, touch us and mold us into the same image as he is each passing day. You're welcome in Jesus name. Alright, we are still looking at maximizing church, how to behave in church in order to maximize it. We have established that there's a way to behave in church. I write these letters to you so that in case I delay, Paul wrote to Timothy, you will know how to conduct yourselves in the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of truth. Now, we are, we are saying that if we can understand some things, some entities, some institutions that the church can be likened to, then we will know how to behave them. So we said the church can be likened to a rock of refuge, can be likened to a school. Yesterday he said it can be likened to a hospital where a whole lot of impotent or sick, very some people very sick, some people already recovered, some people they are just bringing them emergency state, some people fully recovered, they are just waiting waiting for the doctor to come and send them home. People in deep, and then there are of course the people who are well, nothing is wrong with them, uh, and they are just helping to serve in the hospital. Glory to Jesus. Now, the next thing we can liken the church to is to a dry cleaner's uh, house. You know, the Bible used one word to describe dry cleaners that I like. I've never heard it except in the Bible. The Bible calls a dry cleaner a fuller. You remember when uh, when um, Jesus was transfigured? Bible says, and his countenance shone as white, such that no fuller on earth could wash them. sika <laughs> such that no fuller will make them white. Let me turn look for it. Glory to Jesus. Mark chapter nine verse three. 
and his raiment became shining exceeding white as snow so as no fuller on earth can white them <laughs> uh, so the bible talks about a dry, the dry cleaners man the, the dry cleaners business okay and so the church can also be um the church can also be likened to a dry cleaners workshop or is it his factory or wherever his office when you get to the dry cleaners workshop you see all sorts the main business there is washing people who bring their nobody brings their, his clothes to dry cleaner and say don't please don't wash it too. just be looking at it no if you want to be looking at your clothes you keep it at home okay uh, whether they wash it with water or with chemical they mo- the purpose of coming to the dry cleaner's house is washing that's the purpose and then they will do other things maybe starch it iron it and all that all right so if you get to the dry cleaner's house you see all kinds of clothes you see the ones that have just been brought in have just been received at the receiving end all rum pulled up all in fact they are not uh, they are not arranged at all they are just clumped together many of them stained with oil with all manners of things with sweat all kinds of things and then you see the ones that have been sorted that's another stage and then you see the ones that they have not only been sorted they are being washed they are being dipped in water they are being processed and then after you see the ones that are being dried then after sometimes you see uh, uh, if you you also see the ones that have dried they are waiting ironing or they are being ironed and then you see the ones that are well packaged ready to deliver so you see the clothes in different uh, different stages that's what church is the reason jesus brings us here is to wash us ephesians chapter 5 ephesians chapter 5 hallelujah macro devinica stolorobo santilara set Ephesians chapter 5 that will be verse 25 husbands love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it that he loved the church gave himself for it reason so that he might sanctify it and clean it with the washing of water by the word with the washing of water by the word what's the purpose that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spots not having wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy and without blemish thank you lord but so the G- bible is saying that this is how jesus is this is jesus's uh, intention for the church this is jesus's uh, strategy for the church he's bringing the church to himself washing 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 the the, the church of course church is not the world church are the people washing us with the water of, of the world reason so that we can get to the point where there is no spot spot means stain no wrinkle you see some iron in there uh, uh, so that will be without with will be holy and without blemish hallelujah so church is a wash is a fuller's house church is a washman's factory so what is the attitude when we come to church we should be ready for washing we should be ready for washing all these come to church are not ready to be washed clean by the blood and by the water of the word and not be coming to church but the person is not ready to repent the spots and the deaths in their life they are not ready to allow them to encounter the blood the blood is the first washing agent the blood is the first washing agent 
before the word. Okay, you remember yesterday we said the word is a healing agent. The word is also a washing agent. But before the word kicks into action, the blood has to do its part. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 How much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit No, let's go back For if the blood of bulls and goats verse 13 and the ashes of an ephah sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. He said, How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offer themselves without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? So when we come, when people come to the church, they first encounter the blood, and the blood washes their sin away, the sin nature. It purges our conscience from dead works. This is very key, sir. This is very key and it's something we must let the church know. Somebody comes to church, gives their lives to Christ, claims they are born again. No flicker, iota of intention to repent inside them. That whatever is said to have happened may not be genuine. It may not be genuine, sir. Bible says the blood purges our conscience from dead works. That it cleanses Ashtiga Balorosa. It cleanses the sin nature away. Purges our conscience. Amen, Orosha. Somebody, a heart that has encountered the blood will lose every taste and every affinity for sin. It might still be struggling with it because the flesh is there. But in his heart, he has lost every, every taste and every smell for sin. The blood. So this is important. The blood will wash us, purge our consciences from affinity to dead works. And then the second cleansing agent is the word. The word is not only a healing agent. The word is a cleansing agent. We read it now in Ephesians now. That it might wash her by the washing of water by the word that he might wash her by the washing of water by the word hallelujah ye baluro are you still here are you still here jesus told them in john chapter 15 verse 3 he said now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Now you are clean. So what should be our behavior in church? We must know that we have come for cleansing and cleaning. And continuous cleaning. So we must be ready, number one. We must be ready to be delivered from filth. We must be ready to be, to, for our consciences to be purged and continue to be purged. We must submit to the ministry of the blood and then we must submit you to the ministry of the word because the word also is the second cleaning agent. Amarosha. <laughs> the word is the water. Ah, ne, seti, 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 seti. The word is the water. Hallelujah. Macro, tegre, feli, grida, cash, toloro, sata. The water of the world, the water of the world, cleaning, cleaning, no serious cleaning. Most a cleaning will be done with water. 
at least some liquid that involve what or the other, you know, many times. So the world is, so we must submit to the ministry of the world. And all, we also who are dishing the word, we must not pretend, sir. We must not miscalculate or misunderstand what the word is supposed to do. The word is supposed to claim the people. It's supposed to claim the people, keep claiming the people. So we should not hold back on dishing out the word as it is. As it is, we must not be playing around with it. We must not be manipulating it. We must not be afraid that the people will get angry. We must not be afraid that the people will, will be put away. They need the word of God for cleansing, sir. They need the word for cleansing. Hallelujah. You need the word for cleansing. All those attributes, all those attitudes that are not in line with the fruit of the Spirit. All those things that, are, that continue to, to, to make us struggle in working with God and following God and conforming to the image. As we continue to be exposed to the Word of God, to the teaching of the Word, to the reading of the Word, to meditation in the Word of Jesus. We'll continually be exposed to cleansing. Somebody here this morning. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. This is powerful this morning. It's powerful. The church can be likened to a dry cleaner's workshop. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And a dry cleaner, what is salt, will go to any land to get good water. If his business is treated in a place where the water is polluted, maybe he has too much iron or is brown, he can't be using it to be washing the cloth like that. He has to look for alternative source of water. The water has to be clean, otherwise, it will be. It will be spoiling his work. It will, it will, it will, it will, will hinder the sh it shine. Same way. You are now as leaders. You are now as people that God has given um, um, responsibility to pastor the people. We must labor for true word fact. True word. Well rounded word. Clean word, clean word, correct word, and expose the people gently to it, but not be afraid to expose them. We expose them gently to the word because the word is powerful, sir. I've seen the word take people and turn them around. Very dirty, stinking, ragged, shagged, whatever that means, people. I've seen the word of God bring so much shine out of people's lives. We must, we must in church, we must be confident. I am too confident in the ministry of the word. Too confident. One time there were like five different couples who were threatening divorce. One of them had actually spoken to a lawyer. I told you, which one is this one? No. He said, you have the two now. I said, which two? He said, teaching. I said, eh. I, he, 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 he instructed me to declare two months continuous back to back of teaching on marriage. And we did it. <laughs> before, ever before we finished. Amukret is at the register. Every, every protesting, everything died. When people's head was, 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 their heads were reset with the word. The word is powerful. So confident in the word. That's why I'm so confident that what God is doing in your life, it is too powerful for the world to ignore it. Sir, you can't be ignored. You cannot be ignored, sir. Just continue to expose to the word. 
Let the world clean, 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 clean. After some time, your shine will blossom. Hallelujah. Do not forget, though, it has started. It's a year of reputable glory. God is already pushing it. Everyone who wants to deny your glory this year, my God will put them to shame. In the name of Jesus, every strategy, every attempt to rob your glory this year, they have already failed. Hallelujah. They have already failed because this year you must shine. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, O oh God. Thank you for the Eston Church. Thank you for this year of reputable splendor, reputable glory, reputable dignity. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful. Thank you because we are free from calamity, from pestilence, from plagues. In the name of Jesus. Wickedness is far from us. Pestilence is not our portion. Calamity is not our portion. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please do have a wonderful day. God bless you.